Well, hello, and welcome to this music lesson with Mrs. D. Rocco. Today, we're going to talk about the woodwinds. Now, here's a picture of the instruments in the woodwind family. There are some others, but these are the main ones that we're going to be talking about. So we have the bassoon and the oboe. Both of these have a double reed, and we're going to talk about reeds a little bit later. Then we have a, the clarinet, which has a single reed. And then we have the flute and the piccolo. And the piccolo is played just like the flute, but it's about half the size, so it is able to play much higher pitches. Let's take a closer look at the flute and the piccolo now. Now the flute has three pieces of tubing that fit together, while the piccolo has two pieces that fit together. So take a minute to look at the pictures. And right in the middle on the top, you see the mouthpiece or the lip Plate. The hole is called the embouchure hole. And the way the flute and the piccolo are both played is air is blown across the opening, not actually down into it. So we're going to hear a little bit more about that now. The flute is a member of the woodwind family, which is a little bit funny when you consider that most modern flutes aren't made out of wood anymore. Many of them are silver, mine happens to be gold, and it's kind of a personal choice which metal you play. The gold is a little bit more mellow, a little bit warm, the silver a little bit more brilliant and projecting. So unlike our friends in the woodwind section who generally play with reeds that make a vibration, in the top of the flute, in the top section, and there are three sections, I have a head joint, a body, and a foot joint, makes sense. I have this little lip plate and there's a hole in the top, so I don't blow into the flute, I blow across the hole, and there's a very sharp edge here. That's going to split the air into two streams and cause a vibration. The vibration goes down the length of the flute, and I can show you with just the head joint, this is, the, this is where the sound comes from. And it goes higher or lower. But I need to be a little bit more exact than that in the orchestra. So I attach it to the body and I've got all of these buttons, which we call keys. And you'll notice I have more keys than fingers. <laughs> so there are, there are these rods and mechanisms that connect them and that's how I get the individual notes. So for the most part, when I lift a finger up, the note's gonna go a little bit higher. And when I put a finger down, the note is gonna go lower. That's our general rule of thumb. And I'll play you from the lowest note to one of the highest notes on the flute so you can get an idea of its range. Piccolo is the smallest instrument in the orchestra and it's also the highest instrument. Both the piccolo and the flute are in the woodwind family and the piccolo is made out of wood. It works in a very similar manner to the flute. The way that we produce our sound is very simple. If you look at the top part of my piccolo, this part from here up is called the head joint and this part is called the body. It only comes apart in two pieces, not very big anyway. And this hole up here at the top, there's a very, very sharp edge in the wood. So when I blow the air across, I don't actually blow it into the instrument, I blow it across, like if you were blowing across a pop bottle, that very sharp edge, it splits the air into two pieces. That makes a vibration and it travels down the body of the instrument. 
And then again, very much like the flute, I've got all of these little buttons, which we call keys, and that's how I get the specific notes. So. The next woodwind we're going to look at is the clarinet. Now, here's where we're going to talk about what a reed is. So first of all, the clarinet has a mouthpiece with a single reed. Look at the picture at the top of the mouthpiece with the reed. And then take a look at the picture of the clarinet. We're going to hear now from our friends at the House of Sound about a reed, how that works, and how the clarinet produces its sound. After that, you're going to hear the clarinet actually played. So get ready. Here we go. A clarinet is called a reed instrument. That's because it has got something called a reed attached to the mouthpiece. And they're called reeds because they used to be made from plants called reeds. Today, a reed is a very thin piece of material that vibrates against the mouthpiece when you blow over it. This vibration makes the air inside the clarinet vibrate too. That creates sound waves and the notes that you hear. OK, so that's... This is the clarinet. It is a member of the woodwind family of instruments. It is made of wood, and the sound is produced by the wind from the player's lungs. The wind will pass over this thin strip of wood called a reed at this end of the instrument. It'll set the air within the instrument into vibration, and the sound is produced. Boy, that was some fast clarinet, wasn't it? All right. The next two instruments we're going to look at have double reeds. We have the bassoon and the oboe. Now, double reeds are two thin pieces of cane or wood that are tied together. The player blows the air through these two very thin pieces of wood. And that's what produces the sound. So we're going to hear about the oboe first, then the bassoon. And then after that, you're going to hear the clarinet, the oboe, and the bassoon play something that I think most of you are going to recognize. All right, let's get ready to listen. Without the instrument, the reed might sound like this. Without the reed, the oboe might sound like this. But when I combine the two, that's when something happens. That's how you make a sound out of the oboe. It's not one, but both. It takes teamwork. Like the oboe, the bassoon is a woodwind instrument and part of the double reed family. It uses a reed similar to the oboe. If you play the reed by itself, it sounds a little funny, maybe even a little weird. When you put it on the instrument, it sounds like this. It 
can play funny things. Or more serious things. Did you recognize that last piece of music? I bet you did. All right. Um, All of the woodwind instruments that um, we've talked about today and that we've listened to evolved from some very, very early flutes, thousands of years old. Look at the pictures now on this screen. We have ancient bone flutes. These types of flutes have been found in many, many different parts of the world, some of them thousands of years old. Up in the right-hand corner, we also have some ancient clay flutes, again, Many different types have been found from all over the world. Some flutes that have been around for a very long time that are still used today are recorders. Now, recorders are um, wooden flutes. Actually, they were flutes that were used for hundreds of years to play very complicated music until the transverse flute was invented, the flute that we see today that's held across instead of straight out. Um, And then on the bottom, we have different kinds of modern Native American flutes that are still made and played today. And in the center, we have a picture of all different types of flutes that can be found from all over the world and are still played today as well. So now we're going to hear some of these more unusual types of flutes. I think you might be surprised with some of the music that's played on them and some of the different styles and the way they're played. Let's listen.
Whoa, what was that? Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? No. Can that really be... Okay, so you drill from both ends and they meet in the middle. That's right. Hard on that. <laughs> oh! So we have a carrot with a ball. What's next? Now, because we're going to be technical, now just push that down like that. And I've got a windway. It's basically a tool that gouges out the exact right hole for a windway. That is amazing. So, that's another hole or two. A window. The labium. Is it doing anything yet? No. no look at that. That is a recorded block. Whoa. Now, okay. you can see there's the square shoulder on top. Yeah. And the round is underneath. Yeah. yeah. And this should just go straight in there. Ever so shaving nice. away the top surface. I'm shaving away the top surface, yeah. To leave room for the air to blow through? Yeah. <gasps> Well, I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had making it. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> this is Mrs. DiRocco signing out for now. See you next time. Bye.